We're gonna take down the lines under the eyes. Now we used to do this straight in Photoshop because it was a pain in Lightroom, but they've kind of actually improved it now so you can actually draw lines it, with the healing brush right in Lightroom and reposition them. So what we're gonna do is go on this line under her eye, click and hold and drag without touching the eyelashes just over the dark line. And you'll notice that it's gonna look kind of weird because Lightroom is choosing a spot to sample from, and if I type the H key, you can see where it picked from. It was just not a good spot. So all you do is grab this and put it someplace that's more appropriate, like the smooth skin right below her eye. Okay. Then we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing, draw a little line. It picked this spot, which is not good. I wanted to pick that spot right there, right on her chin or that's not her chin, her cheek. <laughs> and then I'll hide it, and then your opacity slider comes in very handy here because we want to blend those. We don't want them to be just like completely Barbie obliterated. So I blend it down about 60, somewhere on there, okay? Select the other one here, blend that one down about whatever it takes, 60 or so, okay? So now we have a nice softening of lines that looks very natural but it doesn't actually make them look like Barbie, which we don't want to do, right? We just want to take off some of the partying from the night before, basically, because they always want, they always want just to get rid of lines. I want my lines removed, it's softened at least. So, so there's before and after line softening. And if you think it's too much softening, then just take your opacity slider and drop it down a little more until you find the, the amount that looks about right for you. Okay? So she doesn't have very much line. She's a young, beautiful lady, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Then I'm gonna go over to her friend here and we'll do the same thing. Take a little line down. It's sampling from her chin, which is not where I want. I want it to sample from her cheek, just below the eye. Then I'll go to the other eye, same thing. It's sampling from over there. So Lightroom, stop it, go on over here, and we're good. Okay, so there's their their lines just minimized, which is a very, very effective, very thoughtful thing to do. Again, um, we're not going to go into any Dove commercials here because I think that's <laughs> uh, an abstract. But anyway, uh, we, everybody wants their lines taken away, including me, or reduced. All right. If you want to do more, uh, we don't need to do more on any of these ladies here. But just for example, we could go up to the other lines on the top of her head, draw it, sample it from there, take this other one, draw it and sample it from there. And now those are minimized. Um, if I wanted to do that one, sample from there, we could do that as well. Okay. Oops, one from there. Okay, then the next tool we're gonna use is, we already did the line, so there's one more the line. We don't need to do that. Um, is our little, under the K tool, we're gonna use our skin powder. Now these, this particular one, they don't need a whole lot of skin powder. Uh, there's not a lot of shine in here. There's not a lot of pores and things like that. But let's just, let's just power it on here anyway. So I'll choose skin powder. Make sure my brush is set down low, 25 or so. Density's all the way up, which it should still be at. And then I just start kind of buffing out the skin here. So I'm going to paint over areas that might have shiny spots, um, little small, little micro lines, and buffing it out. And then you'll We'll take a look at the before and after where you can actually see it. So it builds up again slowly. The more you paint, the more it builds. So if you want it to build faster, you just crank your flow up. Or slower, you bring your flow down. Okay, so I'm just going to dab, da dab, da dab on her face. There's a little bit of a, you can see little wrinkly lines, the smile lines there. Softening that up. You guys can see, uh, can you guys see where my brush is at this point here? Okay, so I'm just kind of going doo -doo 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 -doo, and painting around. Just kind of polishing, buffing, just like a little makeup artist would do, buffing their skin a little bit. If your brush is too big, you want to get in little tighter areas. You can take that there. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, so there's before and after. See how their skin has been kind of buffed out a little bit and smoothed? Before and after. See, I didn't paint a whole lot because they don't need a whole lot, but if I 
cranked my density up, I mean my flow up, I would have a lot more softening. So if people are out in full sun, they got that shininess from the sun and oily skin that really helps you might want to paint a little more. But again, you want it to look natural, but just add a healthy glow. That's all we're trying to do.